Hey everyone, it's your boy, and we're back in the madness. Now, everyone, a lot of you have been hitting me up about the new update, the leaks, the speculations. I have my doubts about it, but I still want to give it the benefit of the doubt and, you know, put it out there for everyone else to, you know, to get. Uh, to, uh, for everyone else to know what update might bring. Now, if you read the comics, and if you've been reading them uh, these days recently, you know the War of the Realms comic was, is, or is recently going on, and it has a part of the comic called Agents of Atlas, which in which Crescent, Luna Snow, and Y Fox and other characters made their debut. Now, Marvel released a new Filipino superhero called Wave. She's a female superhero and she's gonna be making her debut in the game in the August update or so we've heard. And I've seen a bit of sneak peeks and we've talked about it, we've talked about the changes in GBR and stuff about the, you know, poll we received uh, before and how about, about how we, you know, answered those questions and then Marvel took our suggestions into account. And we're gonna talk about the changes in GBR, what the August update might bring, and let's get right into it, shall we? Now this post has been roaming around on the net with a few more images of sneak peeks, and yeah, let's discuss what we will be getting or will, you know, have at least a clue about what we're gonna get. Now from the previous two snake peeks we've seen we're gonna get Silver Surfer. Now I talked about if we are gonna get him as a native tier 2 or a paywall or you know just a free to play character. Just the free to play way would be good because everyone will have access to him or otherwise if he's a paywall or a you know a bio sub character that wouldn't be too good because you know we've been waiting four and a half years for the fin four years for the Fantastic Family and when Mr. Fantastic and the Epic Quest came out we were still waiting for Silver Surfer and it's, you know a year after that and we got Silver Surfer but if he's not accessible to everyone I don't think it'll be good but since he had a sneak peek I don't think he will be you know personally a bio sub per se because most paywalls don't get too much attention because they're bio sub like Electro did not get too much attention in the previous update and the update before that rescue did not get too much attention so but still don't get your hopes up take it with a bit of grain of salt and yeah let's read what we have the Marvel Corp is delighted to announce the wave Marvel's newest Filipino superhero introduced in Marvel's War of the Realms Agents of Atlas earlier this year will be making the, her debut today in the popular superhero mobile game Marvel's Future Fight. So we talked about Wave is a new superhero in the Agents of Atlas the comic book. She's, she was released just a few, I think, months back? A month back, yeah. A month back. And this post was supposed to be released on the 7th of August, before, just a few hours before the update, but now it was leaked before I know I don't know if this was a part of the beta program or something else or someone uh, from the devs leaked it but yeah we can't say anything unless we're sure right so as part of this announcement Netmarble has also added the classic version of Namor <laughs> Namor guys now a lot of you might not know him but his he's been in the Marvel Universe for a hot minute a hot minute and man, I can definitely say he's, you know, sort of a Marvel's Aquaman, but a bit better. You know, he's the same guy, like he fights humans, sort of, if he has to, as they're polluting his home, his sea, his world. But he sh uh, you can't call him a hero per se, because he's like Deadpool, sort of. He's not an anti-hero totally, but he fights for whatever size side he things uh, is you know best for his, the sea world like he's fought with heroes he's fought with even captain america in world war 2 
is fought with a red a civil war what if if the civil war didn't end and he's fought against captain marvel where the two factions captain america and captain marvel were divided and you know he fought against captain marvel he's fought against he fought against the avengers to protect his world and all sorts of stuff and yeah it's this guy he this is his classic look right here on the screen uh, and this here is i found a sort of you know a what if image if he ever came in the Marvel universe and but we're get, gonna get his classic look and I'm very happy about that cuz I have love for the guy he's powerful he, he you know his powers constitute like he has basically all be super strength super agility and as long as he touching water he can heal himself he's faster in water than you know even Quicksilver I think or he's on par with Quicksilver in water and Quicksilver can run water, but he can keep up with him for sure. I've, cause I've re had, you know, a s I read about a race between him, Quicksilver, and Hyperion, and one there was one more guy I don't remember correctly, but yeah, these four had a race, and man, Quicksilver and Namor were toe to toe with each other. But I have mad love for the guy, and I have love for Quicksilver. Oh, sorry, not Quicksilver. The Silver Surfer. And yeah, we're getting the classic version of Namor and modern version of Silver Surfer to the roster of the superheroes. So he's gonna be a superhero in the game. That's good. A handful of uniforms for agents to obtain. Like we saw the first sneak peek in which we were getting the fantastic. A handful of uniforms for agents to obtain and all actual new raid bars and other enhancements are also included in today's update. Now in the first sneak peek we saw like the whole fantastic family shadow and when the, before the gate opened it had the symbol of, symbol of the future foundation. I made a video about the first sneak peek and we all, all everybody you know guessed about it that they're gonna get their new uniforms. So yeah, they're gonna get the new uniforms. But I was trying to speculate that Doctor Doom will get his tier three, at least, or at least gonna get his, you know, the uh, Doom God uniform. But there's nothing about it here. So I guess they're not giving him anything. I guess Doom will be the same. That's a sad thing. Sort of sad, man, because he's a very good character for PVP and PVE, and you guys know I'm a PVE kind of guy. So it's kind of looking forward to build him, <clears throat> but yeah. If he's not gonna get a uniform soon, he's gonna fall out the, out of the meta. Cause you know Johnny's gonna get a uniform. He's gonna bump up there. Mr. Fantastic's gonna bump up the right there with Thanos, Jean Grey, and other you know Captain America meta characters. So the Fantastic Family, they've always been on the outskirts of the meta. Like <sighs> imagine the meta as sort of a wall. And the Fantastic Four, you know, have created a crack in the wall, but they're not so powerful that they can jump on the other side by breaking the wall. So I hope this will give them enough juice to break the wall and be in the meta for everyone's sake. And as a new raid boss, I think we're gonna get Galactus, you know, the Herald's boss. Because we're gonna get we're gonna get Silver Surfer, and but we're not gonna get Galactus. I mean, sorry, we are gonna get Galactus, but I don't think he'll be a playable character. Or, he can't say anything before the update, but I don't think he'll be a playable character. From what I've seen, I think he'll be a giant boss, right? You know, boss and like Master Mold. But since we got Sentinel, who looks like Master Mold, so we have a feel for, you know, playing as sort of Master Mold, but not Galactus. You know, because there's no copy of Galactus, there's just Galactus. But whatever, fighting against him would be good enough for me, I think. Now, let's read ahead. The Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic, yeah, it's about the uniform. Active agents can now go up against the Devourer of the World Galactus. Yeah, we speculate that Galactus is gonna get a new uniform. Sorry, not a uniform, he is being the giant march raid. And I saw the changes that might coming. So, for like Master Mold had the cdp of refinement as his you know top prize and some gold some uh, type enhancement kits 
and yeah all that shit but I think Galactus is gonna have a CDP of patience or a CDP of transcendence as his main prize with uh, you know his type is gonna change as well over days so you uh, yeah one day he's gonna be speed type one day he's gonna be a I think blast type one day he's gonna be a combat type so you can take other heroes that have a type and advantage against him as well as master mode so that'll be good for the you know the newbie players or the medium play media uh, intermediate players who don't have that well built of roster or that high built of characters like tier threes. Other additions and improvements made to the Mongol Future Fight include tier three character upgrades and new ultimate skills are available for the superhero Namor. So Namor is gonna have his tier three right out the gate. Man, is this crazy or what? I mean, no one to this day has ever gotten their tier 3 right out of the gate. Not even Deadpool, not Loons, no, not no one, man. Not Magneto, no one. I can't even think of anyone who's gotten his tier 3 right out of the gate. It, at least the shortest time we had to wait for a sort of tier 3 was Deadpool because he got his tier 3 after, I think, 2 months. And yeah, that's the shortest amount of time character has been out and gotten his tier 3. It took Mr. Fantastic 4 months to get his. He got his tier 3 I think right after Deadpool's update. Oh sorry right before Deadpool's update. Uh, yeah. So. And since he's gonna get his you know tier 3 right out of the gate and he has many looks in the comics. He's always He always has the potential to get a good uniform. In the future so I don't think he'll be that out of the meta and he should be a powerful character considering he's sort of an elementalist con controlling water and all and I think character like he won't be uh, he won't have an element that's what I can speculate on it show can be unlocked so wave is gonna have her level 70 and solar surfer is gonna have his level 70 and agents can amplify the type enhancement kits to achieve higher ranks so we were talking about this before like if you have an abundance of type 1 enhancement kits you can just you know compile and compile and compile them on to make a type 6 enhancement kit so that's you know good stuff cause otherwise you have to you know keep different spots for every each one single rank of type enhancement kit which can take up a lot of inventory if you play GBR you know very frequently like someone like me. Activations can now earn rewards by viewing the Facebook live streams from your future model. So this is another good thing because you're gonna watch the live stream anyway. Why not get paid for it? Yeah, that's great. So guys, this is just my two cents on the update. Don't take it too, you know, uh, hard on yourself. Take it with a grain of salt. Be doubtful about it, you know and keep your hopes up sort of but not too much ciao peace out we're gonna see you in the next video today and if you like what you see i'll hope to see you again and please please share this video with your friends if you liked it and consider subscribing to my channel bye guys